Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Kraken. It's D about to react to this impressive vid. Uh, it's titled, Beyonce reacts to Chloe's performance and Young Miami is loving Diddy, but he don't care. Impressive is shady. You hear me? She's shady. But this is overall like a BET Awards recap, it seems. A uh, side note, I watched Chloe's performance. That's actually on my other channel. It was supposed to only be on my Patreon, but then I accidentally made it public and it just published to my second channel so if you want to watch it it's over there you can go check it out <laughs> i'll put the link down below it's my second uh reaction channel um but i thought she did a pretty good job overall uh but yeah we're gonna see what beyonce has to say about her performance and in, in this other nonsense let's just watch but he don't care <laughs> Everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. The okay, BET well Awards aired Sunday night, and there's a few performances I want to talk about. I first want to give a shout out to the singer Victoria Monet. She actually I performed at name. the BET pre-show, and I honestly felt like she should have been on the main stage. Victoria is a great performer. I actually seen her some years ago opening up for Ariana Grande, and she was able to put on a show by herself. She didn't have any background dancers, any band. She it's just had a mic and she was singing and performing and doing her thing. And she's been doing her thing for years. So it was a little surprising to me when I found out that this was her first BET performance ever. And it was only at the pre-show. And I feel like she definitely deserved a moment on the main stage. But I'm glad that she I at say least only. got to perform. You know, also, there were some a, other performances start. that stood out to me. I really have to give props to the new girls because I feel like they really showed up and showed out this year. First started with Dochi. Let me she just like talk Andy. about Dochi. Now, Dochi is an up-and-coming rapper her name and too. singer from TDE, I believe. And she has been making a lot of buzz with her singles, Persuasive and Crazy. She also has some other music out, but these were the two singles that she performed on stage. And I was impressed with her performance. She had an incredible amount of energy. I noticed that she was having a few little malfunctioning moments, but she still was able to push through and really put on a show. And her stamina and her breath control was impressive. She easily had one of the standout performances of the night, if not the best performance. So oh, she's okay. definitely up next for sure, for sure. Get it, don't you? Also, I thought Chloe did amazing. Chloe performed her two songs, Surprise and Treat Me. She was channeling her inner Janet Jackson and Beyonce with this performance. Also, she referenced Adina Howard's song, Freak Like Me. And she broke down in the end and did her dance but break I want to for Treat Me. And Chloe did have a little malfunction as well. I saw that her earpiece, one of her earpieces, fell off. But even with mm. her earpiece off, she still sang down. She still had her mic on and her voice was still on point. So say what you want about Chloe, but just know her vocals are going to shine True. either way. So I really thought this was a good performance from Chloe. And I did hear that she was rehearsing for this performance while filming a movie at the same time. Oh. So Chloe was putting in a lot of work, work and it paid off. Her mentor, Beyonce, even sent her a bouquet oh. of flowers and said this, you killed it last night, making me proud, all my love. Be. Aww. Aww, how sweet is that? Sweet. Beyonce should be proud of her. Look at Holly. Yes, Holly. Doing so well. And they are the future. They are the future superstars in music. Also, hey, no, day she leaving little Holly in the dust. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna fuck what y'all think. She leaving Holly. <laughs> she leaving Holly behind. She definitely following in Beyonce's footsteps, doing this little performance by herself. And and, and little Holly is just on the sideline, brooding her own. I mean, I'm sure she okay with it. Whatever the fuck, sure. That's going to be everybody fine. She supports her sister. She has the little mermaid. Holly is okay. She doing her own thing. Like, y'all know these bitches. Y'all know them. But from the outside looking in, it's just like, mm, I like them as a duo. And it, it just seems like they didn't even have a lot of time to do much work together before Chloe went and did her own thing, you know. But maybe they'll come back together. I don't fucking know. We'll see. I really enjoyed Lotto's performance. Lotto performed It's Given, oh. and she also performed Big Energy, and I thought she did a good job. She also has made a vast improvement as a performer because she never used to be so polished, so she's definitely okay. improving. But I really, really loved when she brought out Mariah That's Carey. Huge. I mean, not many people can just casually bring out Mariah right. Carey. I thought that was a huge flex, and 
Mariah stole the show for me. Her voice really? sounded healthy and she was hitting them high notes. Oh, I loved it. I loved everything about it. So it was definitely one of the biggest moments of A lot of titties. Is, Another big moment that happened like was doing. Jack Harlow bringing Brandy out during oh. his performance. Now, <laughs> this Nigga, was, did you not even know who she was or something like that? It was, it was a clip going around or something. I, I think he didn't. Oh, I think he knew who she was, but he didn't know. A lot about her, her music, or something like that. To me because if so you don't. remember a few weeks back, Brandy dropped a, I wouldn't say a diss track, but she dropped a response track to Jack Harlow after Jack Harlow was put on blast for not response knowing track. her music. So Jack Harlow brought Brandy on during his performance of First Class, and this I thought so that was a cute moment. Weird. And there were some other highlights. I, I just think it's weird because you don't even know her like that. You didn't know her music, you didn't know Ray J was her brother. Like, but now it's oh, come on, side, come on, also <laughs> come on stage with me and dance with me. Oh, we take your bitches together, cheese, and it's just like okay. I mean, I'm sure they you know talked about it and got familiar after the fact, but it's just like, but you you didn't even you didn't know who she was like that. This was performance and Kurt Franklin and the Maverick City's performance. In my personal Kurt opinion, Franklin. Kurt Franklin put on the best show of the night. However, I was disappointed with Gibeon. Now, at some point in the performance, his I vocals like got really shaky. I and still I was haven't like, heard his it? album What's yet. What's going on? Why is he singing so out of tune? Apparently, he had auto-tune on his mic, mm. and his auto-tune was pitched in the wrong key. Mm. So that's why he sounded so bad, and he <coughs> actually tweeted this. Not BET sabotaging my mic. Wait, Lil what? Nas X, I get it. So Gibeon is putting the blame on the mic. And do I think this is a cop-out excuse? Uh, not really, because I will say this. Gibeon could actually sing in real life. I heard him sing a cappella, okay. and I've heard I him sing live this. numerous times, and he didn't sound the way he sounded Sunday night. However, I think he should have made it a point to tell the technical team I can't not to put auto-tune on his no mic, love. because if he's a singer, he shouldn't be singing with auto-tune in the first place. But the problem with some of these singers is they rely too heavily on auto-tune and pitch correction, and they think it would save them from doing rehearsal and sound check. But when things go awry, they don't know what to do. That's his karma for cheating. what happened in Gibeon's case. Now, I want to get into bitch. another highlight of the show. Diddy got his Lifetime Achievement Award, and many people came out face? to pay a tribute that? to him. Jodeci the was there, Mary J. Blige, oh. The Locks, Lil' Kim, Faith Evans, Busta Rhymes. Shine even made an appearance oh. after he caught a charge for Diddy, and that's a whole other topic in itself. <laughs> also, you are shady, miss. And presented him with the award. Wait, who was and that? Diddy's acceptance speech was rather interesting who because she, a lot of people. Is that she that kind of West was? showed up in his hot suit and presented Not him hot with suit. the award. And Diddy's acceptance Kanye. speech was rather interesting because a lot of people noticed that he gave a shout out to all I the heard about this. women I in saw his this. life, which included his <laughs> mother, his, his late baby mama, Kim Porter, and his ex girlfriend, Cassie. But he did not once mention his current sugar baby, Young Miami. My thing is, why would he mention her? Like, they have a very new situation. They're not even officially in a relationship. Why would he mention her? He was with Cassie for years. Years on years. His baby mama had several of his fucking kids. She was in his life for many years, fucking decades, actually. His mama is his goddamn mama. These are three very important women that's been in his life, and I'm sure they had a major effect on who he is as a man today. So why would he then throw Young Miami in, in the mix? So people saying, oh, he didn't even mention you. That don't even make no fucking sense. Now, she played herself by having that sign. She didn't have to do all that. But people be like, oh, they didn't even mention you. Why would he mention her? Now, I didn't expect him to mention Young Miami. Okay, never mind. But I did. I just read my mouth and then she said. I think it was weird <laughs> that he called out his ex-girlfriend in front of her. And she was standing in the crowd holding up a sign while he was doing it. She was over here saying, go, Poppy. Meanwhile, he was acknowledging his ex-girlfriend, Cassie. Now, I think he did this to be petty towards her husband, Alex Fine, because Alex threw oh. shade at Diddy when Diddy dedicated his new song, Gotta Move On, to Cassie. And Alex was like, happy pride to all my LGBTQ plus friends. Attached is a charity that helps people who are in the closet and gotta move on. Oh, <laughs> Along with shit. other resources. 
Now, I thought she. Alex was very petty for posting this, but Alex doesn't want Diddy speaking on his wife, Cassie, anymore. But Diddy clearly doesn't care because he still gave her a shout out at the BET Awards. So I think Diddy gave Cassie a shout out because he definitely was trying to be petty towards her husband. Damn, everybody says Also, they, yeah. I think he gave her a shout out because she probably is the last person he truly loved. And unfortunately, he didn't cherish her when he had her. He wasted her time the same way he wasted Kim's time. And he has regrets about it because they both are still on his mind and on his heart. Meanwhile, Young Miami is on the sidelines going hard for Diddy, but he's not really serious about her like that. So <laughs> I think Young Miami has to pull back and understand the situation she's in. If she wants to continue being with Diddy, that's her business, but I don't want her to embarrass herself over Diddy. She's definitely not acting like the city girl she claims she is. It's definitely given she fell in love with her sugar daddy. So she has to reel herself in and not get her hopes up about this relationship. Their relationship is strictly transactional. And he already told her girl, how you was. Know. he didn't claim her. He said he was single. What's your, like, what's your relationship, daddy? I'm single. I'm single. You know, I'm single. But I'm dating. I'm just taking my time with life. That's what he said. And Young Miami has to take what he said seriously. He's only here for a good time, and he's here to... But how do we know Young Miami wants something serious? I can't stand the assumption, the constant fucking assumption that people have that every woman wants a serious relationship, and she wants marriage, and she wants kids. She might be perfectly happy in the situation with her. So who are y'all to project your own bullshit and your insecurities onto this woman and be like, oh, she, she the one getting played in the situation. Oh, she the one looking stupid. Y'all don't know what the fuck is going on between them. And y'all don't know what she personally wants because y'all don't know her or him. So stop. I've been seeing that a lot. And it's like, y'all are on the outside looking in, sounding so crazy, making all these speculations. Like, you know these people. Like, you sound crazy in the head. The stuff that people be saying. Like, you, you realize you don't know these niggas, right? You realize you have no idea what's going on, right? You realize that, right? This could all be set up for publicity. They might not even be dealing with each other in real life. And they might just be sitting back laughing while y'all, yep, what's happening is actually talking about some fake shit that ain't even going on. Like, the our world is so fucked up. <laughs> it's so fucked up. Benefit off of the clout that she's given him. And she's there to benefit off of the money and connections that he's given her. That's it. That's all. Last but not least, I want to talk a little bit about the rapper Saweetie and the actor Keith Powers because rumor has it they that both fine, and Keith are back together again. Back. I now, over the weekend, together. Keith was hanging out with Saweetie's family what at a baby shower, and they seemed very comfortable together. Now, from what I know, Saweetie has known Keith since she was a teenager, and they're both oh. still very close to each other's families. So it could be a platonic thing. Maybe they're not back together. Maybe they're just friends. Who knows? But I do think them being spotted together is interesting because both of them are single from what I know. I know Keith was with the actress Ryan Destiny, but they broke they up. Were such and also, Saweetie broke oh. up with Quavo <laughs> last year. And I believe her breakup with Quavo affected her in a lot of ways because the breakup was very messy. Not only that, she was trying to be on her hot girl stuff and move on to another rapper. She actually was messing around with Lil Baby and she got put on blast and Lil Baby publicly rejected her. And after that, she kind of fell back and she even shaved off all her hair. I don't know. It seemed like she was going through a lot around that time mm -hmm. and she needed a break from some of these industry guys because she was dating Justin Combs at one point, but he mistreated her. Then she was with Quavo, but he know. cheated on her. And then she tried to get with someone else in the industry, but he embarrassed her. So she kind of went through it with some of these Child. industry guys. And I wouldn't be surprised if she missed Keith because Keith probably treated her better than some of her exes. So there is a possibility she got back with Keith. However, it's also possible that they just might be friends. But we'll see as time goes on. <laughs> Anyway, tell what you all girl impressive. You know what? Let me leave impressive alone. She might have all the inside scoop, child. She might know these people, had these niggas on speed out, and they giving her all this information. What do we know? I don't fucking know. So I'm gonna, you know, leave it at that. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that because child, she be acting like she was there and she friends with these people and they didn't tell her this shit. 
firsthand. Um, what was I about to say? Uh, I had no idea Sweetie was with that nigga though. That's crazy. Um, they make a cute couple. They're both very beautiful people. But yeah, Young Miami and Diddy. Like I'm just like, bro, y'all, y'all just got all these opinions about these people's lives, but y'all don't know what the fuck is happening. Young Miami is probably very happy if they are dating or that's her sugar daddy, whatever the fuck. This man is probably cashing her the fuck out, and she's content with that. Who are y'all to be like, oh, she's stupid, or oh, she got her looking crazy. If she's getting paid, then that's the definition of a city girl. She's happy. That's what she wants. She wants money out of the situation. That's all she wants. So she could be playing her role to the T, and y'all just coming up with all these fucking speculations. It's just ridiculous. Uh... But yeah, I, I thought Chloe did a pretty good job. Like I said, I reacted to the performance on my on my uh, other channel. Go check that out. I gave my thoughts about that. But that's cute that Beyonce gave her her props as well. Uh, cool, cool video though overall. Y'all let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.